I was determined to find another use for all of my washi tape. I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to make this holiday card using holiday washi tape and these Recollections Value Pack cards and envelopes. I'm using a set of washi tape from Michael's, this rose gold and like blue set, which is really pretty, but you don't have to use a set. You can just pick from your washi tape. You can alternate two patterns. You can do a bunch of patterns. It doesn't have to be for Christmas. It can be for all sorts of different situations. And this is gonna seem really simple. People are gonna be like, er, really, you're making a video of this? but it's just to give you an idea of something to do with all your washi tape. So I'm using washi tape, one of these cards, scissors. I have a bone folder that I'm gonna use for the end, but you don't need this. And I can't find my trusty palette knife, which is pissing me off. So I'm just gonna use this gift card. So here is my card. And I'm going to just start by laying out some washi tapes. Now I'm kind of gonna alternate patterns and colors to make them look right. Like I'm not gonna put these two blues next to each other because they'll blend in with each other. I'm trying to make sure that I am alternating the colors in such a way that makes sense. I'm also, once, now here's the thing, once you get the first one down, it becomes a little bit easier to lay the tape straight. But for now, you know, part like people who are longtime watchers of me are probably like, Cindy is doing a craft that requires her to lay washi tape straight. Like, what in the hell is wrong with her? But I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. Shout out in the comments if you enjoy the darkness, because I do. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. So I'm just using the card to, to cut to like cut the washi tape off, and I'm just letting it kind of stick to the table right now to keep it stable so that we don't have a bunch of you know, stuff flying around and becoming a pain in my ass. Now remember if you're using word washi tape to have the bottom of the words face what's gonna be the bottom of the card. If it's flipped around, it was gonna be upside down. I say this because I did it. The easiest ways to try and line it up is to kind of eyeball how much of the previous tape is getting covered up. Yeah, and then you fuck it up like I do because is it washi tape craft without me being like a giant hot mess? So you just keep going over and over. Now, if you were going to just alternate colors, that would work really well. If you're going to do like, if you don't have a set you're going to work on, but you want to do more, you have colors that go together. My recommendation is pick ones that have like different things going on. Like the cool part about this set is that you know, here's stripes, here's like, you know, ornaments, here's words, but you have different, and then like these have snowflakes, different patterns, different situations going on, which makes it more interesting to look at. Or if you want to go with the, this is going to be hella crooked, isn't it? If you want to go with the just alternating two, that'll make something that's really uniform looking and that in and of itself can be really neat. There's so many things you can do with this. It's kind of hypnotic to continue to just sort of put slap down some washi, try to make it straight, put down the old slappity slap and cut this washi. Like it's kind of hypnotic. It's a little bit soothing. You could feasibly get a couple packs of these cards, pull up all of your washi tape and just start washi taping the shit out of the cards till you have like a whole collection that are just good to go. You could see this as being a activity that would be very um, soothing and very repetitive, which is something that I can sometimes really appreciate. Now for my bottom, what I'm going to do for my bottom, haha, -ha, I'm going to go back to the stripes to bring it kind of together, like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm trying to tie it all together, but notice that the stripes washi tape is wider than what's left on the card. So just slam it on down, line it up, slam it down. And now you have your whole card, and this is where you can start using the bone folder if you want to, to just, or you can use the card if you want to. You want to kind of but give the tapes a really good like rub down, rub them down, rub them down, back and forth. Give it all the good rub down. Now lift carefully off of your table so you don't jack it all up. And you have this. Now there's, you can use like a cutting mat, like Zacto blade. I do not have the patience or I also do not have the uh, 
balls to use an exacto blade very often because I cut myself. So I'm just going to take my scissors and cut along the edge of the card. If you're going to err, make an error, which I'm always likely to do. Err on the side of snipping. Uh, over here. I'm going to err on the side of snipping a little bit into the card unless you're willing to fold what's left of the washi into the card, which I am not. I think that, that would look stupid for my own personal opinion. So I am erring on like cutting a little bit into the card then having a little bit of sticky that has to fold into the into the other side of the card. Ain't nobody got time for that, unless you do. And then, then you do have time for that. So as you can see, I'm just giving it the snippety snip. Cutting along the edge of the card. The biggest issue with doing this is that it takes a little while. All these different like scraps of washi coming off. And one could argue that I'm wasting a shit ton of washi by doing it this way instead of being perfect in the get-go. But A, I'm never perfect in the get-go. And B, if you think that you are, if you are someone who feels like you will run out of washi tape, then by all means conserve it. I, I would have to do make about enough of these cards for the entire continental United States to be able to use up all of my washi tape. Literally send holiday cards to everybody in the continental U.S. and probably, probably Canada too. And I still would have washi tape left over because that's just how big of a problem I have. So then you have this card and all you do is again take your credit card or take your bone folder and rub it down. Give it one final rub down to make sure everything's nice and smooth. And you have a fabulous card with which to do it. Now you could slap a sticker on top of this. There's a lot you could do with this. I'm not going to with this particular style because I have, you know, words on here and it works. Another thing you can consider doing for when you have your envelopes or your envelopes, depending on what you're doing. Like if this is the envelope you're going to put the card into, you can take one of your washies, like for example, I think this one is the, the theme and you can run it along the bottom. Oh my God. Unless you screw up like I do. You can run it along the bottom of the envelope, flip it over, and do the same thing. Give it a nice... Now this looks a little janky because I wasn't being very careful with how I lined everything up, but you can make it line up a lot nicer, but it gives you like a, a decoration to make it look like it's, you know, like matched stationery. This gives you a nice little situation and it gives you a use for all of your washi tape. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to do a washi tape card. Let me know in the comments, do you have enough washi tape to send cards to an entire country? Because I don't want to be the only one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you next time.